Let's talk about how to create those beautiful drop caps that you see in Adobe InDesign, that you see in magazines, that you see in newspaper articles. Those are all created in Adobe InDesign and it's pretty simple and it adds a lot of flair and a lot of style to your Word document, to your, and I don't mean Microsoft Word, just to a text document, I guess I should say, or to a magazine layout or to a list that you have or to a workbook or an ebook that you're creating. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses to create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if that sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. The first thing you're going to do to create a drop cap is you are going to need some text so that you can create the drop cap inside there. Now, this is kind of a, well, it's a very simple magazine layout. We have two columns of text and we are simply going to add a drop cap to that first paragraph just to style it and make it a little more interesting. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to select that type tool and we just want to hire our hire. We want to highlight that first paragraph because that's the only place we're going to be putting that drop cap in. Now you're going to go over to paragraph styles and you'll see the flyout menu. Now if you don't see paragraph styles on your right, don't panic. It just means your workspace is set up a little differently. Go over to window and make sure that text type and tables is selected and you should see paragraph and then you can see paragraph style. Alternatively, you could just go to workspace and make sure typography is selected and that will make it, uh, the paragraph show up there, uh, the paragraph styles show up there as well. All right, so all you're going to do is we're going to create a new paragraph style. So we're going to click this create new style here at the bottom. And once I have this highlighted, I'm going to double click it and I'm going to drop down here to the section that says drop caps and nested styles. Now I want to make sure that the preview button is selected so you can check that toggle that on and off and over here I am simply going to uh, say that I want to create let's say three lines of my uh, drop cap and I just want the first paragraph that's what this means over here so or sorry the first character so if I said two characters it would take two if I said if I said three it would take three but that really kind of defeats the purpose of the drop cap and it's not as pretty so I kind of like this look with the three uh, lines that it has taken up so you can see one two three if I were to select four it would make it a little bigger but this is only a five line paragraph so that would look a little odd so i'm going to go ahead and say okay now another thing with drop caps is you usually want the entire article for a magazine article in a sans serif font and you want your actual drop cap in a serif font so over here i'm going to select dido whoops Dido and I am actually going to change the color too to help it stand out just a little more. So I'll make that bright pink. So now I have a drop cap inside of here and you can go through and you can do this for any other paragraph too just to kind of help it stand out and we've already defined that paragraph style so we can go ahead and just click the paragraph style and you'll see that drop cap will show up right away. Now if you did want to skip this step where you had to select the Dido, you could create a character style but quite honestly it's just one letter. I don't think it's it's not a big deal. Um, well, I guess it is a big deal if you want to change colors. So we'll make this pink again. So that just breaks up your text and makes it a little prettier. All right, I hope you found that helpful. I have a, another tutorial on how to create a digital magazine, and I have a lot of additional magazine tutorials coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are interested. All right, bye.